Hey, it's Bill. I nailed the final. 7-5, Peter Wright. Congratulations to Peter Wright. I'll just have my little analysis. It's not going to be a long video about uh, what I saw in the match. And I see that the premier predictions weren't uh, put out, so uh, hold over my analysis till, uh, till I see them. Cheers. <laughs>
what Michael Smith's got to learn is when you have Peter Wright in those opportunities like he did in set 10 to go up 6-4, he's got to take them. Because there's a gear currently that Peter Wright can get to, that maybe a Van Gerwen can get to, that maybe a Price can get to, where the players that aren't, they just can't. Michael Smith can't get at that gear. He'll do it for a little bit. But let's look what happened over the last three sets. So once Peter Wright goes down 2 nothing in set 10, he then goes 108 average in set 10 to come back and win that set. I believe on the last leg it was something ridiculous, like 11, 11 darts. He then sets up set 11 with a 112 average and the last set with a one, basically a 114 average. From set 10 on, he just blitzed them. Now, did Michael Smith fold like a cheap 10? No. Michael Smith had a 95 average in set 10, a little bit below, but then he was 106 in set 11 and only got two darts and doubles. And on set 12, he had two darts and doubles. He hit one of them and, and averaged 104. Like he didn't fold. This is the one thing to keep in mind here. Michael Smith actually played very well. Michael Smith's going to win tournaments. There's no doubt. He's going to win majors. The problem is he's coming up against, let's, like, when he plays people in majors, he ain't playing pawns. He ain't playing, <laughs> he's playing Peter Wright a couple times, Michael Van Gerwen a couple times. These are not easy players to beat. He should be James Wade. That should have happened. But he's not playing pawns. These are great players. Now, Peter Wright eventually is going to have to retire. Michael Van Gerwen seems to be a little bit on the down. I believe Michael Smith mark it up, chalk it up, I'm going to make a prediction that he's going to win a major this year. And the major that I think he's going to win is going to be the match play. That's the one I'm going to chalk up for him. I've already marked it down. Michael Smith wins the match play. Now, why do I think he's going to win the match play? I think his ranking is going to go up. He's already ranked number five. If you take a look at that, again, that gets him in with Gary Anderson. Uh, James, or sorry, not Gary Anderson, James Wade, Gerwin Price. These are beatable opponents. He's going to get there. And I'm hoping that this doesn't affect him, that he, he, he didn't miss a winning double, and he certainly didn't fold. He didn't give it away. Peter Wright took it. A 112, 113, 114, 115 average. Like, what are you going to do? Great win for Peter Wright. Peter Wright is now 15,000 behind Gerwin Price. And if you take a look at the money that has to be defended next year, there isn't a lot for Peter Wright to defend. He's got a whole bunch of floor tournaments to defend. Uh, I think he's got a, a, a round of 16 in the UK Open early. Uh, he's got a... He, fo he left in the match play pretty early. I think second round in the match play. He lost to Glenn Durant. He didn't do well in the World uh, Grand Prix two years ago. He lost to Jermaine Watermita uh, first round. Uh, he did obviously won the European Championship, so he'll be defending that. Um, he didn't do well in the Grand Slam. He was kicked out in the in the pre or pre round stage, and I believe he didn't do well in the or he got a semi final in the Players Championship, I believe. So there's not a lot of money for him to defend next year. Where Gerwin Price has way more money, including the World Championship final. I like Peter Wright getting to number one early this year. I think he's going to do well in UK Open. Uh, a good run the UK Open and Gerwin Price doesn't win it and Peter Wright is your new number one. Uh, I think that'll be fantastic. I think he will do it. And I suggest it's going to be early in the year. Again, I'm not going to be able to talk about the Premier League picks because they're not, uh, they haven't been picked. And I've heard a lot of theories behind it. Some of them I don't buy. Okay, so the one being, you know, they're waiting to see if Fallon Sherrick's going to get a tour card. I don't buy it. I don't. I don't buy it at all. I don't think that that's what they're going to be doing. Um, if Fallon Sherrick gets a tour card, maybe gets her up, but I don't think that that's why they're delaying it. And the other one I hear is they want to delay it to the Masters. I just don't buy that at all because the Masters is 28th to 30th of January and the first Premier League event is February 3rd. Don't you got a plan to be there? I think they're going to be moving the Premier League, obviously with the Omicron COVID. I think that's why it's being delayed is because they're having to schedule it and figure out what that schedule is going to look like. And that's the more precedent. Maybe they have to delay it a month. And so therefore you can take into account the fact that we'll take the Masters, we'll take this. But I don't think it has to do with they don't want to win the Masters or I think it's because it's going to be rescheduled. And if it's going to be rescheduled, doesn't that take precedent over who's going to be in it? 
obviously you know who the top four are that's not going to change the four people that are definitely going to be in it and you there's there's eight people definitely in let's let's face facts the, the eight people that are definitely in it are you know Gerwin Price, Peter Wright, MVG, James Wade, unfortunately, Gary Anderson, Johnny Clayton, Michael Smith, and to me, Rob Cross. They're guaranteed to be in. So you could have named those eight. The other two, I guess you could, you know, obviously I went with Dimitri Vandenberg and Ryan Searle. There could have been people who went with other people. Um, maybe they are waiting. But what happens if Peter Wright wins the Masters or Michael Van Gogh wins the Masters? What are you going to do? Uh, the next best performer in the Mike Masters? I don't, I don't see it. Uh, again, if you want Fallon Sherrick, whether she has a card or not, I don't see why that matters. So I don't buy that either. But anyways, uh, when the Premier League is announced, I'll, uh, I'll certainly give my opinion. I'll also do another video on the qual. Once I see who, who's all in the qualifying uh, or going to Q school for PDC, I'll give you, you know, the top 10 that I think are going to get tour cards. And we'll see how I do. I think I went 50% last year on both sides. And then obviously I'll keep the darts videos going for the predictions first one would be the the, the masters uh which i believe now is top 24 instead of top 16 so hope everyone enjoyed it again i had a blast fantastic tournament really enjoyed the darts fantastic matches i thought the final was fantastic as well hope you enjoyed as well cheers i'll talk to you shortly